Welcome to Network Bytes. Uh, in this particular lecture, we are going to demonstrate how we can implement mesh topology with the help of packet tracer. So, for implementing mesh topology with the help of packet tracer, I am going to take four switches in my scenario. One, two, three, four. As all of you know that in mesh topology, every device is must be connected to all other devices in network so we make the connection with all other devices present in the network now you can see that we created a mesh topology in which every device is must connected with all other devices in network so with the help of switch and we will take some end devices and every switch must be connected one or more end devices now mesh topology is completed now you can see that every pc is now functional port error Oh, oh. For functional port error, this error says that you have not provided IP address to any of the end device. So you need to provide IP address to the end device because no functional port error says that device don't have any IP address. So remember this error whenever you will see this error, you get to know these things that you have not provided IP address. So after providing IP address to all the end devices in the network, we will again see how the communication goes on. Now providing IP address to third end device. fourth hand device now all the devices having IP address now you can check all the devices can communicate with each other successfully now this is the complete structure of mesh topology but there is one question may occur in your mind that why these ports are orange why these ports are orange not get green at the power the orange port shows the ports are still in the processing mode they had not get completely up or not get completely down so the reason behind it these particular links can cause the cycle in the network and by default a protocol which name is spanning tree protocol is enabled on every switch which try to avoid all the duplicate links or those links which can form a cycle over the network so for demonstration if i will delete all the links which having orange ports you are still able to communicate with all other devices so this shows that this is the minimum spanning tree structure in which we can able to traverse all the node mathematically or all the devices in the network can communicate using this particular network scenario so all of you understand but for maintaining bus topology uh, for maintaining mesh topology you have always need to create same scenario this is the structure of mesh topology okay understand if any question then must put your question in inbox thanks for watching